Mark Pedowitz told me in the first season of Jane, don't forget to enjoy the ride because every chapter comes to a close. So I have enjoyed the ride. <laughs> when we all booked Jane, we were all older. You know, we had been all struggling actors for so long and we were so appreciative to just work and then to work on something we loved, to work on something that was so conscious and uh, so contributive to like everyone. To be able to do that is a dream come true. Things like this, they are winning the lottery and I think that there's a big part of it that we're very aware of that. So we've been able to ground ourselves in the fact that we are just so gracious. I will always thank Jane, the character, Jenny, Brad, Brad for teaching me how to direct, Jenny for writing the greatest character I've ever played, to my cast, who have lifted me up when I couldn't stand. Really, really cool experience that I will take with me to, to my last breath. We've all had the, the benefit of knowing that this was gonna be our final year for a while. So it's kind of like this, this uh, long drawn out kind of goodbye. It's rare to get a chance to be a part of um, something this beautiful. You know, you grow up and you dream about being a performer and being an actor or being a director. And those dreams seem so far away from, from who you are as a young boy and then you win the lottery, and it happens. And I think every actor is presented with a choice. You can dive into this experience and, and dive into your work and make it about achieving a dream and about the work, or you can dive into this experience and look at it as an opportunity to do something bigger. I think why I get so emotional about it is that, you know, Gina and I made a pact with each other to make this about something much bigger from the very beginning. We really made this about impact and uh, and bringing joy to people. That's what I think about. And I think it worked. The last season, for me personally, it's bittersweet, you know, because it's been an amazing journey for me. It's been literally a dream come true in my acting career. It bumped me up to another level that I had not broken through to. All of us, the whole cast has always come in with a, an attitude of, of gratitude. Literally, like we, we literally spoke about that season one, that that was the mindset that we wanted to go into this series with and maintain our humbleness and gratefulness throughout the whole thing. And so we have been able to do that and it's just wonderful. It's been an important show in the industry in terms of diversity and um, new voices and culture and all these other things. And I was just so proud to be part of that. And so now that it's ending, it's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> wow. I yeah, I mean, I could cry now. I, I love this show. It sneaks up on me, those feelings of it being the last season and those moments where I realize like, oh my God, there have, you know, we don't have that many weeks left of shooting. And, but I'm actively trying to not think about it. I, I kind of feel like I'll deal with it when I get there. Because if I start being sad now, then I'll just be sad for a really long time. And I can shorten it by just being sad later. It is uh scary and and weird especially since i only moved to the states after um i moved from israel after the pilot of jane the virgin got picked up so i basically had two weeks to pack up my stuff and go and these people basically have been you know my my family here so i i don't know myself as someone in the states without these people around me so it's going to be a whole new um discovery now Since it is the last season that we're living with these characters, I'm very saddened to leave Alba behind. I'm trying not to be sentimental about it and not to be emotional about it. But when you've lived with a character for so long, five years, to live in the skin and the reality of this character, it's kind of sad. It's been very emotional for me, and I try not to go there, but you know what? 
I go there. What the heck? You know, I am sorry. I have emotions. That's what I feel. I feel saddened. I think we should have gone one more season, but that's me. <laughs> Maybe so that I would be ready emotionally to really turn it off at the end. But it is what it is. And uh, here we go as actors and as performers on to other experiences. What I think about the final season? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you remind me of such a sad news. No, it's just, you know what? It, we like to concentrate in the joy. Instead of focusing on, oh my God, it's the last season. We're so sad. We're so, because we are indeed sad that, that this beautiful journey is coming to an end. But also, we never forget that it has been a beautiful journey. And that we, we've been very blessed to be part of this journey and this beautiful ride that has... Uh, connected us with with beautiful people. It is hard, of course, um, that is the last season and that we won't get to do this daily with the people we love. The consolation is that we have a true and sincere friendship between us, so we will not stop seeing each other. We will continue the friendship, so that's that gives us a little... Yeah. Oh, please, don't be so dramatic. If you knew anything about telenovelas, you'd know that everything is supposed to be dramatic. Okay, I have the fan favorite moments in my hand. I can tell you have rhythm. Would you like to dance? Yeah. Come on. Okay. That Britney Spears versus Rogelio episode gives me life, right? It was amazing. And Britney was so incredible in the episode. Oh, I just want you so badly. <gasps> when Jane and Raph were having sex dreams about each other. All right, I have a fun, a fun moment of that. When we were shooting that, I was on maybe like four hours of sleep, doing 15, 16 hours days. They yelled action, and I was asleep. That's how much I dug that sex dream. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not ready to say goodbye to Rogelio de la Vega. Me neither. I wouldn't dream of overreacting. Fan favorite moments at Maya. Hashtag Jafael's first kiss was pure magic. I still have the high every time I think about it. Oh, Maya. There's some really great stuff in store for you, Maya. Keep watching. Yeah, mommy, don't eat that. What? Why? Why not? When Alba and Zoe got stoned from the chocolate bar. Stoned from the chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was fun to play. I know, that was like the best. And Yvonne was so good at it. I was like, Yvonne, do you have some experience with this? Oh, what the heck, you know, we're actors, we can pretend. I can't believe this is the end. This literally got me through everything. I'm still Team Raphael. You can just keep going back and watching all 100 episodes as much as you want. We'll always be here for you. Good luck. Good luck.